Welcome to the Scarlet tutorial everybody. My name is Ava Maria XO. Most people just call me Ava. I'm a competitive Mortal Kombat 11 player from the United States and I participated in tournaments like ESL, Pro Comp, and many of the community hosted events. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides. Check out their website for all things FGC. Stick around until the end of the video to see which character guide is coming next. Okay, so let's start with Scarlet's best single buttons that she has in her kit. Her stand one is a quick 7 frame jab that's only negative 1 on block. Her down one is also 7 frames, although it is a bit more negative. Both of them are great for checking the opponent. Her mid, her forward 4, is pretty slow. It's 13 frames, the fastest in-game is 9 frames. So hers is pretty slow, but it is great for shimmying the opponent. Her other mid, her forward 2, is also 13 frames, so pretty slow. But it has great reach to make up for it. Probably her best button, her stand 2 is actually zero on block and it pushes the opponent back pretty far so it's hard for them to take their turn really once you push them back with stand two if you went into something like forward two it's pretty easy to steal another turn her back three is her low starter 13 frames, but again, it's helpful to shimmy the opponent to open them up. It is punishable, so you'll have to typically have to follow it up with something, but it's a good tool to mix up and shimmy the opponent. Her down three is also a good poke. It is a long range poke. It's pretty slow at 11 frames, and it is minus 7 on block. But that range is really making up for it. Nobody is punishing minus 7 at this range. When it comes to anti and Scarlet is pretty straightforward. You'll just be using stand 1 most of the time. So she can also use forward 2 if she has enough space. As far as variation goes, Scarlet has a lot of flexibility, just depending on the matchup you're playing and personal preferences. In most cases, I like to use her Teleport with Boiling Point for a ton of damage and her Parry. The Parry is nice because Scarlet has a lot of Flawless Block gaps in her strings, and so if you are fighting an opponent who is Flawless Blocking all of your stuff, using the Flawless Block attacks, um, you're able to Parry after a Flawless Blockable gap to defend against that. As a game plan, Scarlet really excels at controlling the spacing and the pace of the fight. She has some solid zoning tools, a variety of them. She has highs, she has mids, she has lows. Um, and several of her tools will actually go through projectile immunity, like Jade's or Shang Tsung's Shake. Um, her tongue will go right through. She also has great range on her normals, so she's able to outspace the majority of the cast. And so that's really her game plan, is just keeping herself at a comfortable, safe distance, being able to hit the opponent when they can't reach her. In applying pressure on offense, you will primarily be using the strings I have tagged on the screen. Her string 1, 2, 4 has a flawless block gap in between the 2 and the 4. And so if the opponent has a meter to flawless block attack, you'll probably want to be a little more careful in using that one. You can stop the string at 1, 2 to continue applying pressure. Her string 2-1 is also great. It really spaces the opponent out. It's got great range. But you wouldn't want to complete that string if the opponent is blocking or you are leaving yourself punishable at negative 11. So you would likely, in applying pressure on offense, just 
stick with 2-1. Again, forward 4-3 is another great string. It's her mid. It's a great shimmy. But there is a flawless block gap in between the 4 and the 3. So you will want to be careful if the opponent has meter to flawless block attack you. 4-4 four, four is one of her best strings. It is plus on block. It's a high and then a mid. So they can neutral duck the first hit. It's a 10 frame startup. But if they block it, it leaves you at plus 6 and you are able to continue applying pressure. Her mid screen optimal BNB will be her string 2-1-2 into 2-1-2. 4-4 four, four, into back forward 4, and it'll look like this. Her optimal corner combo will be 2-1-2, into stand 4, back forward 3, amplified. Standing 4, 4, into back forward 4. Like I mentioned before, Scarlet has a ton of flawless block gaps. The majority of her strings have gaps, and so that is probably her primary weakness. Um, I've tagged on the screen the strings that have gaps in them. Her 1, 2, 4. Her back 1, 2. Her forward 2, 1. Back 3, 4. And forward 4, 3. All of those have flawless block gaps and can cause you problems if you're not incorporating mind games, um, staggering the opponent, and working around them. I don't think Scarlet is a bad pick for beginning players. She does decent damage, she has decent zoning, and she has great range. She's simple to use. Um, where most people will probably struggle is going to be working around the gaps, the flawless blockable gaps, and playing the mind games they need to play with the opponent. Um, she is not as rushdown heavy as the majority of the roster, so people will have to play her more patiently. They'll have to play to her strengths and work around her weaknesses to make this character really excel. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. Thank you for watching.